Okay, in today's video, I'm going to run you through five must-have plugins for your drum productions. And these days, you have some crazy-ass plugins that will help you enormously. So stick to the end of the video, and I'll show you other little secrets, because I told it was five, but it's about eight. But that would make the video too long. And five looks cooler on the thumbnail, right? Five, yeah. The biggest challenges you get from recording acoustic drums are typically inconsistent drum hits. So bad performances, right? Bad, bad. I know all you guys, all you drummers out there are the best, but there are some that won't hit the drums as consistent and as beautiful in the center as they can, but who am I? So bad performances. Second one is bad miking technique. So face problems, you know, didn't check the distances between the microphones, which result in calm filtering or just weak sounding drums because you're working with multiple mics. And the third one, it's probably the biggest one or the second biggest one. Performance is really key. So the third one is tuning of the drum kit. Very important. If you are recording some kind of acoustic instrument, you have to know how to tune this thing. If this thing is tuned like a fucking milk carton box, yeah, you can put the best drummer behind it or the best miking technique, it will still sound bad. So learn how to tune the drum. If you're a drummer, come on, man. You can't play guitar without knowing how to tune it, right? So you cannot play your drums if you can't tune your own drums. Okay, but that's that. If you're a sound engineer, learn it. If you get a band in, in your studio or you're, you're going someplace, you rented the studio to record a band and the drummer doesn't know how to perfectly tune his drums, then you do it. Just ask them, do you want me to tune your drums? Or if it sounds like crap, Tell him I want to tune your drums because it sounds like shit. Okay, but with that said, these plugins can be used on sample libraries as well. Normally sample libraries are perfectly in tune, are perfectly in phase, but some of these plugins I still use on sample libraries as well. So let's jump right in. First off, drum leveler. Yeah, this thing saved my life so many times. It's in the name, it levels out the drum performance. So the, the hits will be much more consistent, which is preferable in a good performance, right? There's also a noise gate in there to get rid of a bleed on the microphones. Yeah, you've got some cool features. I'm not going through all these things, but drum leveler, you need to get. I put all the links in the description below. I'm not sponsored or anything. These are just plugins I bought with my own hard earned money. Drum leveler. Another great Sound Radix product is Auto Align. So the engineer forgot to check the, the, the face on the top and the bottom mic of the snare drum, for example, uh, or whatever. This plugin will automatically align whatever mic or whatever mics you put through it. You run two instances, one on the top mic, one on the bottom mic, for example. You said detect delay and polarity, pop. It's perfectly in phase. I also will sometimes use it on overheads or on room mics, depends on the sound you want. If you align room mics, for example, the, which are 30 feet away to a closed mic on the snare, could sound a bit off. The whole idea for, of room mics are that they sound a little bit further, right, than the closed mics. But you can do it with this software. I find myself doing it uh, aligning the overheads, which are probably two, three feet over the drums, aligning them with the closed mic of the of the snare. Yeah, the snare hits just hits harder when these are perfectly in, in phase. So auto align, get it. Next one, Soothe. Soothe, yeah, Soothe is, a, is one of these special plugins for me as well. It's just amazes me what this thing can do, but essentially it's a dynamic equalizer. But where I use it a lot is on cymbals just to smooth them a bit uh, you've got some really great presets uh, in this thing harsh hi-hat hi-hat remover cymbal smooth these presets i use a lot then tweak the knobs to get 
the result you want. This is a plugin I put on vocals, on, on bass guitars, on, on instruments that change pitch a lot. That, that's where it really shines. Cymbal sounds are really a complex sound and this thing can make them really smooth and really lovely to the ears. They can be harsh, right? Anyway, soothe on cymbals. Next, waves are bass. Yeah, this thing adds low-end harmonics for you. And what do you want with drums? Low-end, right? So I put it on snare, I put it on toms, I put it on a kick drum. Just tell them which fre frequencies uh, you want to add. Pop, intensity knob, and you're good to go. I really love that plugin. Adding low-end. Pop. So last but not least, the SPL Transient Designer Plus. Yeah, this thing makes your drummer hit harder or softer. Transient designers give you a bit of the same results as compressors. They can give drummer hits more attack or less attack or shorter sustain or longer sustain. That's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Get it. Now to my uh, special extras, extras, extra read all about it plugins. So what you're gonna need, especially on live performances, is a limiter some kind of limiter whatever if you just use the stock plugin limiter or in this case the bx limiter from brainworks or fab filter limiter doesn't really matter just to keep out the really pokey transients from a bad hit or from an inconsistent hit and the purpose of doing this is that your final boss limiter isn't reacting to some kind of bullshit ping uh, hit that jumps out. So just put on on all your closed mics. Essentially, I put them on all, almost all my closed mics. I just put the limiter, just check the tracks that it just reacts a little bit. Don't compress it or don't smack the shit out of these uh, these tracks, right? Just when you get a hit that pokes out, the limiter reacts to it and just smacks it back down. So. Use one, some kind of limiter. Other plugin I always come back to is the FG Stress from Slate Digital. This is just, uh, I love this compressor. It's a compressor and compressors are really cool on drums. Room mics on closed mics to get more attack, whatever. FG Stress also on a parallel compression. I always use this plugin, love it. Last but not least, Trigger 2. So if all else fails, the drummer didn't know how to tune it. You forgot to tune the drums. The microphones were placed badly, but the performance was pretty cool, pretty good. The groove and whatever. Yeah, use trigger on closed mics. Replace all the, 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 the samples with good sounding, in phase sounding samples. Plop! And you've got a great sounding performance. Saved my life countless times. <laughs> I also did a video on Trigger 2 where I explain uh, the three best ways to use Trigger. Click here to see that. If you like this content, please give it a like. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Jonathan out. Until next time. Till next time. Ciao.